On a lot of the newer valve covers, they just have this perimeter gasket and, uh, and then they actually have through bolts. And the through bolts have these rubber grommets with these metal washers. And uh, I just use a flathead screwdriver. I cram it between the rubber and the washer. I pull the rubber out of it. Then I use the cutters and nip it uh, so that it can split open and slide right off the bolt and then dump the washer off. And I wobble in the new grommet. Uh, the important part of doing this is is that the, you know, those uh, often these are dry and crusty and deteriorated and thin. The thickness and the rubber of these actually puts the proper compression on the perimeter gasket so that it seals. Uh, if you replace this gasket and you don't do the grommets and these things are all half deteriorated, rock hard and dry, it's not actually not putting the proper compression on the perimeter gasket so it will leak. Um, just very important oversight and a bunch of the new kits don't even come with these. And uh, before I install it, I you know put in the new tube seals and make sure that they're going on this direction. I don't, I can't even count how many times I've seen people put them on upside down. They're tapered so that it slips on and helps you install the valve cover. Just a little bit of oil on there and then you kind of just have to wobble and babysit them on the first time because they're a little small. And then just use like a half a pea of some silicone and I just, put a little ball at the end of the tube and then I swipe it this way so that it hangs on the corner and that helps it slip into place. Um, you don't need much more than that. Some people just use oil so that it slides into place. A little bit of silicone also does the same thing. It lubricates it so it slides all the way into the corner. And it also, if you know there is a little bit of a gap left, it will help fill the gap. And then these things just tighten down until they stop so you just you know keep just like any other gasket you start from the center out and just uh you know run them down until they stop don't run them down i can't even count how many of these bolt heads i've fixed in cam girdles because people think they're head bolts and try to torque them to 50 pounds it's a 10 millimeter they get torqued to like nine foot pounds it's next to nothing so I just run them down until they stop and call it a day because with new grommets, new perimeter, silicone, it's going to seal that way. Don't overthink it, but don't...